Hey guys, Scare9 here. Welcome back to my channel today. And in this video, we are talking about the brand new live event which starts next week within the Destiny universe, The Revelry. Like I said, this will start on April 16th and it will end on May 7th. So you have like three weeks to participate in this event and it seems like it's going to be a lot of fun. Eva Levante is back in the tower, has decked out the tower in crazy decorations, and has brought some really cool activities and rewards with her for us to complete in this event. So let's just go ahead and break down everything in this event and see what you guys can earn by playing and participating in this event because they're always a ton of fun. So the main event that is coming with the revelry is called the Verdant Forest. Now it is very similar to the Haunted Forest. They are reusing the Infinite Forest once again. However, there seems to be some very cool twists. So the main objective is still to clear as many rooms as possible in as short amount of time. I'm sure you're given a time limit and you just have to run through X amount of rooms or whatever. But like I said, there's a cool twist that makes it significant different from the haunted forest. Bungie says, quote, the more spaces you clear, the more time you will have to defeat the onslaught of five different bosses and claim your reward. So what it makes it sound like is that after you, let's say you run through this for 10 minutes, you get 10 minutes to clear as many rooms as possible. Then you are forced to fight this gauntlet of five different bosses that will just come at you one after another. And if you don't complete this gauntlet and you don't kill them sequentially before time runs out, then you will fail and you won't get your reward. So that's very cool. It's pretty much putting your ability to work with your teammates and to gather as much time as possible and to put out this damage and that's just really cool. I think that's a very cool dynamic. It's a great way to reuse the space. And honestly, I'm very excited for that. Now, there is one more crazy aspect to the event, which is essentially a huge buff that you can choose to use during the duration of this event. It is called the Reveler's Tonic, and you will get this from Evo Levante whenever you start the event. So as you kill bosses in the Verdant Forest or complete other specific activities, you will earn Reveler's Essence. And you can use these to buy things from Eva, just like you did with the like Soul Fragments, I think they were called during the Festival of the Lost. That is this event's version of that. In addition, it seems like they are saying here that you can actually use this Currency to upgrade your Reveler's Tonic, which will allow you to either choose from a reduction in your grenade, melee, or class ability recharge time, which is very cool. But even more insanely, across pretty much every activity in the game, including Crucible. So if you are participating in this event, you are upgrading your Reveler's Tonic, you will have a distinct advantage in Crucible and in things like raids and stuff because you will get either your grenades, your melee, or your class abilities back more often, which is very, very, very cool. And then in addition, the buff becomes more potent with the more pieces of Revelry exclusive armor that you have on. There are two armor sets for this event, which we're going to go ahead and cover. So the first set is called the Inaugural Armor, set you just get this by defeating bosses in the verdant forest as you continue on through the event it seems like you get more likely to get this armor to drop the more bosses you kill and this set looks absolutely incredible and is even rounded out by a holographic effect ornament that you can buy from eva for the reveler's essence and you can put them on the helmets and they give you these really cool horns or wings or just aesthetics on your head that are holograms that are super bright and just look absolutely amazing in addition eva levante will have the Arbalest Kinetic Fusion Rifle available for sale once you complete all of the Triumphs and earn enough Reveler's Essence to buy it but that's just amazing. Now, the second armor set actually comes from Eververse. As per the usual, there will be a second type of Bright Engram available during the event that you can, you know, get by leveling up, and this will allow you to get all sorts of very unique items from Eververse for the duration of this event. There's like a Ladybug Ghost Shell, stuff like that. This armor set comes from that. There's one for every class, of course, and it also does affect what level your Reveler's Tonic is, and it makes that buff more strong, which is very, very cool. And then finally, there's just some items you can buy directly from silver bundles to support Bungie from Eververse, but there is still plenty of stuff to do if you decide not to put money into the game. So all in all, I'm very much looking forward to this event. It looks like a lot of fun. I can't wait to go in next week and just grind it out, see how quickly we can kill these bosses, and just see how strong the Arbalest is. A lot of people have been waiting for it. I'm very excited to see how it goes, and yeah. So that is going to be the entire video. Let me know what you guys think about the revelry down in the comment section below. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did make sure to leave a like rating and share it with your friends if you're interested in watching either of the two videos on screen you can click their respective annotations to be taken to them if you're brand new to my channel make sure to the giant version of my logo on screen to be subscribed to my awesome destiny 2 videos and live streams thank you guys so much for watching today and i'll see you in my next video